My name is Tycho Spagoda, and I'm a student at the Academies of Loudoun. The name of my app is StreamScore. Right now, certified stream monitors such as myself use paper forms to enter data and manually calculate the score of streams held. This app automates the process and will send the score directly to the database. The Virginia Department of Environmental Quality uses these scores to target polluted streams, such as the one behind me, for restoration. This app has all the required data fields of the Virginia Save Our Streams or Vasos protocol, which is what we use to conduct our surveys. I use Esri's app development software to create these data fields. Okay, now let's take a look at the back end of my app. I made the API in Python, which allows the data to be sent from a mobile device to the Vasos database. This first GitHub file takes data from a webhook and dumps it in a Slack channel, as we can see here, before it is sent to the actual database. To conduct a water quality survey, we collect a sample of macrobenthic invertebrates, which are aquatic organisms living on the bottom of streams. Some macroinvertebrates, such as this crayfish, are more tolerant to pollution than others, such as this stonefly right here. Based on the quantity of each type we collect, we can compute a score ranging from 1, which indicates a polluted stream, to 12, which indicates a healthy stream. These are the paper data forms. This first sheet collects basic information about the site. The second has all the types of macrobenthic invertebrates. You put a tally mark for each one you see. Then you have the very onerous task of computing the different metrics, which requires a calculator. It can take 20 minutes to collect the final score. As you can see, at the top I have included the logos of the organizations affiliated with the app. Under that, the app has all the required fields about the stream being monitored. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, you can see the longitude and latitude which pinpoint the location of the site, which is also required for a valid VASO survey. Right after that, I added a feature that uses your device to fetch the date and time automatically. Some of the fields have dropped on menus like this one for the name of the stream or flow rate of the stream, which is much easier than writing it down on paper. Now, here's the real meat of the app. I added pictures, headers, and counter field for every macro invertebrate. A database manager who reviews the forms estimates that one in four forms has an error. Since the app has formulas that automatically compute the metrics, these errors would be eliminated. In addition, Beso surveys around 300 streams twice a year, so the app could save about 300 hours of stream monitoring time annually. Overall, I think this app makes stream monitoring easier, quicker, and more accurate. It also makes it more appealing to young people like me, who would rather use their device than bother with paper. I hope this app gets more people interested in stream monitoring and ultimately helps improve the water quality in Virginia.